to Upcycle, Crafted for a Purpose. And today we're gonna to talk about how sometimes you feel like ordinary crude, like a, an oil substance, but that isn't useful to anybody. However, God upcycles us and makes us into a blessing, a fragrant blessing that is left to benefit people long after we have left their lives or left their presence. And that is what we're going to do our craft on today, is an ordinary crew to essential oil bearer craft. And that's from that chapter in the book, Upcycled, Crafted for a Purpose. Today we're going to make serenity neck wraps. It's a very simple craft that I think you could do easily with children or with a group. And you can donate these crafts to people that need to know that they can be a blessing and that they're cared about by you and your group. So let's talk about what we're going to need for the craft today. You're going to need some rice, a big bag of rice, and I'm choosing the cheapest rice possible. And it's a short grain rice, which I think will work just fine for what we're doing. So it'll mold around your neck a little bit better. And you're going to need something to make the neck wraps with. And you can upcycle an old garment, whether it's a sweatshirt or a pair of sweatpants or maybe some pajama pants even. So you're also going to need something to mix your materials in, something to mix it with. You'll need some scissors and some needle and thread to sew it together. And you're going to need some essential oils and choose the kind that you like the best. Optional would be to have also, you can have some lavender flowers as something that you can add in there. I happen to have some already. So whatever that you have on hand that you want to add in there and make it smell good, you could use some dried herbs if you like. I'm not going to put those in because I don't want to combine so many fragrances that it becomes overpowering. Just make sure what you're mixing is going to go nicely together. So let's get started. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our bag of rice and this is food grade essential oil that I'm using. So it's okay that I'm using something I'm gonna later also use for cooking. Normally when you're using a craft, you wanna be careful about using something that you're later going to use for food if it could potentially stick to the porous surface of your vessel and become toxic. All right, so I'm choosing to use frankincense lavender, and rosemary. If you would like some more information about the types of essential oils that you could choose that would be beneficial for reducing stress or pain or headaches, you can actually go to a course that I offer which has comprehensive information about stress relief. And I will leave that link in the show notes. It's called Subdue Stress and Anxiety. And again, I, I will leave you that link. It's got everything that you need to know about how to manage and overcome stress and anxiety in your life, every part of your life. So what we're going to do now is because I know after researching that, that this is a beneficial fragrance, especially lavender. And that's why I've got the lavender flowers. I love lavender. And I have all of this in here. already set. This is actually the whole lavender plant that was chopped up. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in. And you can use four or five drops per cup. I'm going to put in a little extra because I don't mind it being a little extra. You don't want to do too much of overpowering ones. But I think it'll work. Five cups per cup, drops per cup is fine. So mix this thoroughly together. Once you get that mixed, you can set that aside. And we're going to move on to the next step. Now, this is an old 
shirt, so I'm just going to cut the sleeves off of this. Again, if it's sweatpants, you can get more surface area with it, and that's just fine. to do is um, if you want to, depending on what kind of material you're working with, you can iron this out. This is jersey material, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's best if you choose something that is non-toxic, that hasn't been painted with anything toxic because you, again, you're going to be able to put these in the microwave so you can put them around your neck. And since I don't actually need the edge there, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off too. So that'll just be in the in the way. Okay. So what you'll do next is you're going to sew the ends up. Now when you just keep in mind that one of these is going to fit inside of the other. So you want to make sure that if you're using a blanket or something that's not already a wrapped loop, that the inner one is going to fit inside of the outer one because we're double layering it so that it will actually fit together and the rice won't get through the stitching or leak out in any way. And it also helps with the heat if you have it kind of a double layer there so that it doesn't overheat and get too hot against the skin. So I'm gonna give you a break for a second while I do some sewing. I'm going to sew together just the end of the inner one and that's all I'm going to do. So I'll be right back. And we're back with Upcycled Crafted for a Purpose. I have my two sleeves sewn at the larger edges and I'm kind of struggling to decide which one is smaller. I think this one is the smaller one. So I'm going to turn the smaller one right side out and create a pocket for my race. The next step is to take my well-mixed rice and any spices or dried herbs that you wanted to put in there. Make sure that there's something that's soothing, not any kind of aggravating, irritating spices. And I have a little scoop that you could use a spoon. And I'm going to scoop the rice into the sleeve so that I can fill it completely with rice. Now, if you want to create little segments in your Serenity neck wrap, you can sew, like say, a segment like this, and then another segment, and another segment, to just kind of keep the rice evenly spaced. That's a lot easier to do if you are working with a sewing machine. I'm not going to bother with that because I'm hand sewing this project. Now, if you decide that you want to add more rice, again, just put four or five drops per cup. It depends on how thick you want your Serenity neck wrap. I'm thinking, because this is so long, I probably want to add a little bit more rice. adding it until it's as full as I want it to be. You don't need it to be too bursting at the seams full because you want it to be able to mold around the neck or your back. I mean, you could use this some around your arm, your shoulder, your back, whatever you like. So I have the inner sleeve filled with rice. My next step is to sew the end up of this inner sleeve, and then I'm going to kind of, because it's already inside out, the neat thing is I can just kind of take it like a sock and unwrap it around the outside and create that neck wrap. And then I will sew the outer side up. So I'm going to take a break while I'm doing my sewing part, but 
while I'm doing that, think about how God helps us to be invested with His Holy Spirit. So that's a deposit in us that infuses into us and makes us fragrant. And I love this craft because it's a relaxing craft. You can actually smell the essential oils while you're making this craft and, and benefit from the aromatherapy while you're doing it. And also while you're smelling these wonderful smells of the plants that God created as medicinal herbs for us on the earth, you can be thinking about how God also infuses his spirit into us so that we become carriers of his essential fragrance. I'll be right back with the rest of this craft. And we're back with the Upcycled Project Serenity Neck Wraps. As you can see, I have completely sewn the inner pocket. I chose to do a double lining and it looks like it's holding pretty well and you can kind of guesstimate depending on your fabric how much stitching you need to do. I did a double row of stitching because I wanted to make sure that that short grain rice didn't come out the edges. And you're going to next take your inner your inner fully stitched rice filled pocket and you're going to wrap it with the outer pocket. And this is another reason why you're not going to overfill and overstuff your sleeves because that makes it a lot easier to put it into the outer sleeve. Especially since these are not legs they are arms, and arms on a sweatshirt are not the same at one end as they are at the other. And I chose to leave the short end for the open end. Alright, so I just sort of filled that. And this is not totally even, but that's okay because that kind of makes it a nice way to wrap it over your shoulder. If you have one shoulder that's a little bit more sore than the other, that'll be just fine. And I'm going to just kind of tuck this in and stitch the end here. And then that will be the very, very last step. If you want to, you can sew like something pretty on the outside, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it just like this. You could, when you are giving this as a gift, you could tie a ribbon around it and make it pretty as a gift, but you don't have to do anything. It's going to go in the microwave. You don't want to add any glue or anything like that because that's not going to go well in the microwave. You can freeze these and have it as a cold wrap. You can also put these in 30 second to one minute increments in your microwave until you get the desired warmth. Just be careful not to do it for too long at one time because you could kind of burn it up and, and ruin it and you'll get too hot and then you could burn someone's skin with it. So just be careful about that. But I hope you enjoyed this craft and upcycled crafted for a purpose. This is a wonderful gift. It's a wonderful craft to do with your friends. And we love to donate these from the Upcycled Project so that you can complete that wonderful learning that you have absorbed by paying it forward. The best way to be an essential fragrance carrier of the Holy Spirit is to give. So giving this to a local shut-in or a, an assisted living facility or a domestic violence shelter or someplace like that, and there's a whole list of places you could donate this craft. I hope that you've enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you again on the YouTube channel on my website at tinayager.com or as part of my readership with Upcycled Crafted for a Purpose. See you in the next craft.